those days when the family has acting fever. Joyce is in a play at high school, and here she is rehearsing her part. My love, thou art my love, I think. Think what thou wilt. My love is another. Uh, kiss me, kiss me lest I perish. Thy folly is no fault of mine. Oh, would that thy beauty were mine. Nay, nay, I love another. Oh, I just love Midsummer Night's Dream. How was that scene? Gosh, George, you were wonderful. Just wait till the night of the show. You'll wow him. She's already for Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't somebody going to help me up? Oh, come on, Ralph. You're all right. Get up and we'll try the next scene. Yeah. <clears throat> Stay, though thou killst me, sweet Demetrius. Do not haunt me. I will go. Wilt thou leave her? Do not do so. Stay on thy peril. I alone will go. Hey, what goes on here? What's the trouble? Oh, there's no trouble, Daddy, and you just ruined the rehearsal. It was ruined before he ever came in. <laughs> We're doing our dress rehearsal for the play, Daddy, and we only have one more before we give it. Uh, do you want to watch this, Mr. Irwin? No, you go ahead. I'll see it when you present it at school. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go on with that scene. Okay. Hey, will somebody help me on with this? I oh. need it for the next scene. Here, I'll help you. Okay. I think the latch is down there. There. Ooh, this feels kind of warm. What? This feels kind of warm. Speak up, Percy. I can't hear you. Oh, why do we always have to have a kind of play like this for? Nobody can see my face. Well, why don't you go outside? You're just interrupting our rehearsal. Now, you stay out there until we're ready for you. Don't bother us until we call you. Oh, go on. All right. Let's do that other scene, the one about that horse. Okay. <clears throat> oh, as true, as true as horse that yet would never tire. Oh, bottom, thou art changed. What do I see on thee? Not very much, if you ask me. Yeah, what do we see? What do you see? You see a donkey's head. That's what you see. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Irwin... Oh, Mr. Irwin. Huh? Oh, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> it's me, Percival, Mr. Irwin. Oh, Percival, what's happened to you? What's oh, the matter? I got caught in this pit. I can't get it off. Oh, well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, hey, you go around to the back door and I'll help you. Okay. Okay, get out of there. There you go. Oh, Willie. Really? Yeah? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Willie, it's me. It's... Oh, it's all right, Willie. It's only Percival. Oh, and this means you're a second. I can't hey, get it off. Step away. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Hold, oh, hold still. Okay. Wait a minute now. Get a good hold oh, on. Oh, I've heard the door. Oh, you're breaking my neck. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> wait a minute. Willie, oh. get a hammer or something. Huh? Huh? Oh, all right. Those will do. Hey, what are you going to do? Uh, just hold still now, Percival. Right. Oh, hold still. Oh, oh, oh. There. There you are. Now, we got it. Oh, you hurt my nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, why do I always have to play these kind of parts? It's a very good part. Many great comedians have played it before you. You leave this here with me and I'll fix it for you. Well, gee, Mr. Irwin, thanks. I'll need it for the dress rehearsal tomorrow. All right, all right. I'll get it for you. Mr. Irwin, what's this? That is Bottom. It looks like a head to me. <laughs> it's Bottom's head. <laughs> Bottom's head. Way for her highness. My sister's off again. <laughs> Daddy, huh? I'm going to be famous. Oh. I'm going to make names. Oh, Joyce, come down to earth. What are you talking about? Oh, Daddy, today during rehearsals in the school auditorium, a talent scout saw me. Oh. He picked me out of everybody else. He says I can be a star. He does? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? How much is he going to charge you? Oh, nothing. Oh. He's going to give me lessons and poise and coach me all free. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is get Professor Dudelhofer's book on vocal exercises for $10. Mm -hmm. What was that scout doing around the auditorium? Daddy, don't you understand? Don't you want me to have a career? I'll take care of him. I'm leaving strict orders. He's not to be permitted near the school again. Daddy, you're ruining my whole career. Ah. Joyce! Yes, Mother? Your father's probably right. Oh, I know, Mother. But after all, Lana Turner was discovered in a drugstore. 
Why is it unreasonable for me to be discovered acting in the play? Well, it just isn't likely, darling. Yes, Mother, but even if there's one chance in a million, I'd still like to find out about it. All right. You tell me where to find him, and I'll go down and have a talk with him. You will? Yes, dear. No. No, no, you, you mustn't. You can't. But I need the telephone for my business. Look, I have several big deals pending. If you'll just give me until 5 o'clock today, I'll be able to raise the $7 that I owe you. You will? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Come in. Come in. <laughs> Now, I was hoping you'd drop by. You're just exactly the type I've been looking for. Me? Yes. Here. Let me hear you read this line. Here. Read this line? Yes. But, but... No, no, no. No, don't say anything. Just read it. Daughter, oh daughter, you must not go out with that man tonight. What depth. What feeling. Me? Yes. Tell me, what is your name? Mrs. Stewart Irwin. Mrs. Irwin, did it ever occur to you that you have the potentialities of being a great star? A star? Yes. But I'm not a young girl anymore. Youth, youth, youth is all right, but what people want today is, is beautiful maturity. Think of the thousands of people that flock into the theaters to see Catherine Cornell and Helen Hayes. Are they young girls? Well, I don't know if I'd have the time. I have a family. A great wonderful, natural talent like yours, Mrs. Irwin, belongs to the world. It isn't fair to keep it hidden. I still don't know. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Robert. The furniture? Uh, right away? No, uh, uh, just one more day, hmm? Uh, yes, yes, I'll, that's right, I'll take care of it tomorrow. Uh, yes, <laughs> Details, details. It's my New York office. They're always bothering me. Can't make a decision without me. It's about a new scene that they're trying to shoot. Well, Mrs. Irwin, you take this script home with you and uh, study it. And then uh, tomorrow we'll discuss it. Hmm? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> He's mine, Mother. And you can't take him away from me. But, daughter, I beg of you, open your eyes. He's too old for you. He's only interested in you for your position, your money. I love him, and that's all that matters. Hi, Pop. Hello, Jackie. Where is everybody? Hmm? Where's your mother and Joyce? Oh, you mean Cornell and Turner? Huh? Don't listen to him, daughter. He's just deceiving you. I'm not deceived, mother. You want my sweetheart for yourself. Yes, it's true. I do love him. He reminds me so much of your father. Just in what way? Oh, hello, dear. We were just rehearsing. Oh. I stopped in to see that talent scout. Oh, no, Joe, not you, too. Oh, yes, Daddy. Well, there, too. Ain't it gruesome? Isn't. He says I have an inner glow, a natural acting ability. You're joking. Oh, no, she ain't. Oh, no, she isn't. That's what I said. Yes. He didn't ask for any money. Well, he will. Everybody in town is taking dramatic lessons. That fellow misses nobody. But I'm going to put a stop to it. You can arrest the steward. Oh, Daddy. Don't you believe anyone? Why, we're liable to be the greatest acting family since the Barrymore's. At least. Hey, Pop. Huh? How do you like this? Oh, no, Jackie. Not you, too. All right, cut. That's all for now. We start shooting again tomorrow at night. How does it look to you, Arthur? Pretty good. But I'm a little worried. What about? Well, we're doing a picture called High School Life. I think we ought to give it a documentary feeling. I'd like to use some of the actual people in town, shoot some of the scenes at the high school itself. That sounds like a good idea. Suppose I go over to the high school and speak to the principal. See if it can be arranged. Okay, fine.
Zong, sir. Are you one of those who wouldn't serve our rule? What'd you say? Zon, sir. Are you one of those who wouldn't serve our rule? Willie, what are you talking about? Oh, that's Shakespeare. I'm going to play Othello. You? Othello? Yes. This is going to be my big opportunity. Willie, has someone been talking to you? Oh, yes, sir. He's going to make me a fortune. Did he ask you for any money? Oh, no, sir. The lessons are free. Oh? All I've got to do is get $10 for my makeup kit. Makeup kit? Oh. Mr. Willie, you don't happen to have... Oh, uh, extra copy of Shakespeare, do you? No, no, no. I'd just like to get my hands on that man. Oh. Yes, Miss Hamilton? There's a movie producer out here who would like to see you about using some of our students in a picture he's making. Oh, he would, would he? Well, send him right in. Willie, you leave me alone with this man for a few minutes. You go out the other door. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Owen? Yes. I'm Mr. Sawyer. Mr. Sawyer, sit down, Mr. Sawyer. Oh, thank you. So you're in show business? Yes, with prominent pictures. Mm -hmm. And you know talent when you see it. <laughs> sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. And you think the children around here really have great ability? Well, I don't know. My, my director told me... As much talent as the better moon? Say, just a minute. Huh? That gives me an idea. Why? You, Mr. Irwin. I was just thinking... Visualizing you for a part. The part of a high school principal. Oh, it isn't too big a part. Doesn't uh, take too much experience. Would you be interested in playing it? I'd uh, need a little coaching, wouldn't I? Uh, and a makeup kit? Oh, yes, but my director will give that to you. Your director? Oh, yes. Well, I would be interested. Very interested. Of course, I'd have to make the necessary arrangements first. Uh, tell me, where can I reach you? Well, I'm at the Plaza Hotel. The Plaza. Uh, room 211. Plaza 211. Well, thank you very much. I'll look forward to hearing from you. You will. Believe me, you'll hear from me. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Hello, Chief. This is Stu Irwin. Oh, how are you, Stu? I'm good. To say, Chief, there's one of those talent scout racketeers in town. He's going around promising everybody a part in a picture. Who is he? Where can I find him? I've had a lot of complaints, and I'd just love to get my hands on him. His name is Sawyer, and you can get him at the Plaza Hotel, room 211. Thanks. I'll send some of the boys over to pick him up. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Uh... Willie, you hold the nail. Right there. See? Hold it now. That's it. Right there. Where's the nail? Here it is. Willie. Look now, Willie. Just hold it there. Yeah. Yes. Right there. Mr. Huh? Uh, uh, you, uh, you mad at me? No, Willie. I'm not mad at you. And look, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just hold it there. Uh, I, I, I know it, but uh, is your aim good? My aim is fine. Just just hold the nail there, that's all. I guess I'm just nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about, Willie. I'm not going to hurt you. Yes. But uh, you don't know that hammer might not feel the same. Willie, look. You hold the head, I'll hold the nail. Hold it there now. Put your hand over there, right there. <laughs> See that? I told you I that hammer didn't feel the same. Oh, Willie... Nail's too big anyway. Let's get a little one and tack it down. Huh? Now, hold it steady. Hold it steady. There. That's good. That does it. Now, let's try it on. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that looks very good. You see, I don't think I'll win no beauty contest with this. <laughs> okay. Let me have it. Take it off, Willie. What's the matter with you? I can't get it off. Well, I'll help you here. Wait a minute. Huh? Come on. You know, it's going to cut into my social life awful. Yeah, it's stuck, Willie. It's stuck. You're wearing it. All right. Well, what are you going to do with that mallet, Mr. I'm just going to tap the head lightly and then loosen it up. Which head? The donkey's head. Oh. Hold still, Willie. There. There you are. I guess I am. <laughs> Just a minute, I'll call him. Hello? 
Yes, what is it? The chief of police is on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Oh, excuse me, Willie. Yeah. Hello, Chief. Say, I've got Mr. Sawyer here down at the station. Good. That's where you belong. Say, Stu, just what's this about Mr. Sawyer being a racketeer? It's just what I told you before. Well, we examined his papers carefully, and he's positively not. He's a genuine Hollywood producer. He is? Yes. You better hurry down here right away and explain things. You'll be lucky if you're not sued for false arrest. False arrest? Oh, I'll be right down. Yeah. So that's why I thought what I did. Well, I understand. We're as opposed to these talent racketeers as anyone else is. I'm awfully sorry about the whole thing. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? Well, yes, there is. What I came down here to see you about was to get the use of your screw to shoot a few scenes. Oh? Can you arrange it? I certainly can. And, uh, Mr. Sawyer, uh, I don't quite know how to say this. Oh, is it about that part of the principle? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, you see, my wife and daughter have been bitten by the acting bug and... Uh... Oh, I know what you're up against. <laughs> yes, you see, and I've sort of discouraged them. So when they hear that the real motion pictures are going to be made here at the school... Well, what do you, do you think if I offered them a small part in the picture, it might help? It certainly would. <laughs> well, here you are. Uh, of course, uh, there isn't very much just here... And here. Oh, that, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is all <awesome. laughs> Goodbye, Chief. If you wanted to get into the movies, why didn't you ask me in the first place? <laughs> now, there is your line, and there's your line. One line? It isn't what you say, it's how you say it. I wonder what led up to all this. What shall I do? What shall I do? What shall we all do if this keeps up? What do you think, Stu? Okay, uh, Cecil B. DeMille, you take it. Shh, shh. Well, uh, neither one of them sounded quite right. Uh, I'll tell you what, change places. Now, uh, Joyce, you read your line. <coughs> the boys are over there. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right, either. Uh, uh, try it another way. The boys are over there. Well, Is that a... better? Well, it's a little better, but I'll tell you what, we'll make a little scene out of it. And this time, give it still a different interpretation. All right, now, both together. The what boys are over there. No, 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 not together that way. I mean together separately. June, you first. What shall I do? The boys are over there. What shall I do? The boys are over there. Now, uh, Jackie, where are you going? I'm going to join the boys over there. Well, we've got all the other scenes made. Now we're ready to go. Oh, oh you mean you're going to shoot the scene I'm in now? Yes. Oh, I'm so nervous, I don't know if I can go through with it. Oh, calm down, Mrs. Irwin. There's nothing to it. Oh, maybe, dear, if you don't watch me, I won't be so nervous. All right, I'll go inside. Oh, fine. And uh, would you ask the boys inside to stop rehearsing for a few minutes uh, so the noise won't interfere? I'll take care of it. Huh? Hey, fellas. Yes? Be quiet in there. Oh, okay, Mr. Irwin. All right, ladies. We rehearse the scene once more, and then we'll shoot it. Places, please. Oh, Mr. Irwin. Shh, you'll have to be quiet to listen. That's true. Mr. Irwin, I can't get this head off. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, it sucks. Well, we'll the over there. Oh, what shall I do? Okay, the rehearsal is fine. Now we're going to shoot the scene. Take your place. Roll them. Action. The boys are over there. Oh, what shall I do? Hey, look at that. It's <laughs> not there. Shh, keep shooting. Let's get this on film. Okay. Get over, get over here. Over here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, first of all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, wait a minute. Hold still. Well, I'm half. Hold still. There. Oh, my nose, my nose. Boy, that thing hurts. Well, I don't see anything wrong with this. You must put it on wrong. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, here, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> and 
taking no trouble at all if you put it on right. Oh, I don't mean putting it on. I mean getting it off. Well, you take it off the same way you put it on. There's absolutely no difference. You just... That's funny. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you better give me a hand. Oh, okay. Oh, well, don't wait. No, I'm not sorry. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Oh, oh, get a hold of the thing. Oh, yeah. Huh? Really? Yes, oh, yeah. Take that mallet and tap the head a few times. Harder! Excuse me, sir. Not that hard. No. Look, Willie. You take all of one side and you take the other and pull, will you? Come on, pull it. Throw the head, not <laughs> Please. Look, please. <laughs> Willie! Mr. Irwin, you almost write my acting career. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope we didn't ruin anything. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, Daddy, I can hardly wait. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> the premiere of the picture we were in, showing right here in our own hometown. I'll have to stay. I'm expecting an important long-distance telephone call from Professor Stevens. Oh, well, we'll go on. You can meet us there. All right, darling. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, bye, Daddy. Bye. <laughs> Jackie? Bye, Pop. You're just in time, Pop. <laughs> the boys are over there. Oh, what shall I do? <laughs> My actress. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold still. Well, I can't. Hold still. There. Oh, my nose. My nose. That's me. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Hey, no trouble at all if you put it on right. Oh, I don't mean putting it on. I mean getting it off. I told you, I'll take it off the same way you put it on. There's absolutely no difference. Then you better give me a hand. Hey! I already go. you'll let us keep it in. Oh, gosh, it. Mr. Irwin, I hope you do. I want to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was certainly funny. Ah, it was all right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're just the man I've been looking for. Huh? You have a quality about you that reminds me of Will Rogers. I have? Yes, sir. I can put you in my next production. I can make you a star. You'll be rich. You'll be famous. Well, this sounds very interesting. <laughs> I've been looking for a man like you for a long time. And I've been looking for you for a long time, too. Come with me. Was that the man? Oh. The actor in the family. <laughs> yeah. You think so? <laughs> I think you were kind of hammy. Oh. But I love you just the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were right. <laughs>